exercise. We recommend this exercise to you for either your neck pain, shoulder pain, low back, or your overall posture. To start off with, you're going to be on your hands and knees. Make sure your wrists are on your hands, directly underneath your shoulders, and your knees directly, directly underneath your pelvis. Now from here, to start off with, we're going to get you to push away from the ground as much as you can. Getting a nice hard neck, and from here, make sure you keep this posture and get your knees off the ground. The first phase of this exercise is to hold the positions. Usually we recommend about 60 to under 20 seconds, so a minute to two. The next progression for this is to tap one hand at a time to the opposite shoulder. The key for this one is not to size way too much, especially no twistings. Now, the most common mistake you may encounter is the dropping of your neck or letting your shoulder blade squeeze together. So try to really watch for that. Okay, so take a break, Nick. So that's the first progressions. And by doing so, you can really have your shoulders, neck, and overall postures improve while keeping a nice tight core. So Nick is going to demonstrate other variations to challenge the core. So same position again, please, Nick. Good, so getting again, nice and tall. This time, you can bring one leg up at a time. And the key here this time is to watch this part. Do not let the back drop, or think about don't let this back arch this way. And the ultimate progressions from this, I'm gonna let Nick take a break. <laughs> Double, come, I mean, uh, progression from this is getting you your knees off the ground, and we're gonna have the opposite hand and leg off the ground. Just like that. Good, come back. So, do the recommendation or recommended dosage recommended by me and give us a try. Mm -hmm.